Hi, this is Javier Encinas. Thank you for downloading your uh, free 15-day trial of ASDEP. I'm confident that you will enjoy the evaluation experience uh, today. I'm going to show you uh, how user-friendly the software is and uh, how easy it is to model and design uh, your structure. In this case, I will model a cantilever retaining wall using ASDEP Retain. Uh, I will show the other uh, products in, in, in future uh, uh, videos. Uh, well, the user interface is very efficient and has been designed to model your structure the easiest way. It consists of controls such as buttons, uh, text boxes, labels, combo boxes, radio buttons, uh, check boxes, etc. All these combined uh, elements uh, create a rich uh, user interface. Uh, the typical calculation window, like, like this one, is uh, composed of the men menu bar at the, at the top. Uh, immediately below is, is the, the toolbar. From here, you, you, you get access to many uh, useful commands. Uh, below is the, the, the working area here. Uh, it's composed of uh, two tab panes. The left pane is designed uh, uh, for, uh, for the input data. The right pane is, uh, for the, uh, uh, shows the results of the calculations. In this uh, video, I will uh, focus mostly on the modeling features of, uh, of the software, and uh, I will show their, the uh, calculation capabilities in, in, in other videos. Uh, the input tabs are organized in a logical way, uh, geometry, loads, materials, reinforcement, etc. It's a very logical way precisely to avoid confusion on where to specify a, a, a parameter. Uh, for example, in, in, in the geometry tab, uh, uh, the, uh, you can enter the information on the dimensions of the retaining wall, the stem and the, and the, and the footing. Uh, for example, uh, let, let's start with the, with, the, uh, with the stem. The stem can, can be concrete or can be masonry. You, you can select uh, the, the material here, either concrete or masonry. Uh, check that when, when I change to masonry, all uh, the interface dynamically changed accordingly to, to reflect the, the change. Uh, so from here, you can input the, uh, the stem height and the thicknesses and the footing and, 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 and all that. Uh, the heel, the, the, the toe dimensions, the key, the soil cover. In other words, all the geometry of the wall can be generated in this in, in this tab. This picture here is uh, very uh, very efficient and shows the meaning of all the variables involved in the geometry of the wall, so that uh, you will never find yourself asking what this variable means. So everything is uh, is here. You know the the stem height, the backfill height. Uh, where is the toe, where is the, where is the heel, uh, the soil cover, etc. All these are reflected here. In, uh, in the loads tab, you can specify in, 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 a, in the backfill tab uh, the properties of the backfill, uh, the earth pressure theory to use, either Coulomb or ranking or equivalent fluid or, or at rest, uh, and properties of the soil. Uh, in the surcharge, if uh, you have any surcharge uh, on top of the backfill, either live or, 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 or dead, you specify that in here. Concentrated load, the same thing. If you have a vertical load concentrated at the top of the back, at the top of the, of the wall, you can specify it here. In this tab, wind and seismic, you specify the wind pressure on a, probably a, on a projection portion of the of, of, of the wall of the wall uh, here or you specify <coughs> the uh, seismic coefficients to reflect the, the seismicity of, of, your, of your site. Uh, note that when you change from tab to tab, the picture here below changes accordingly, reflecting the meaning of all the variables involved. Okay, In material, you specify the stem and the footing material properties, the concrete and the steel densities, allowable soil pressure and uh, and so on so it's very uh, very efficient as well here you would have some uh, 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 typical values of the friction coefficient if necessary the reinforcement tab uh, it includes uh, 
a series of controls to uh, reflect the, uh, the reinforcement of the wall. It has been designed to allow the user specify the reinforcement uh, of the members, so the stem, the toe, the heel, uh, the, shear, the shear key. A number of controls are provided here to completely customize and uh, optimize the steel rebars. You may spe specify also a cut-off cut uh, alternate uh, vertical rebars here to uh, you know to uh, to optimize uh, the the wall. Uh, it should be noted that uh, whenever you change something in the input, the change is immediately reflected in the output. For example, let's see. Let me let me uh, change here the uh, the backfield height to to the full wall. Okay, you see that uh, everything changes accordingly. For example, if I change the, the cutoff rebars here, it's going to be reflected here in the in the moment diagram. L you see that it's stepped here, reflecting the, the, the cutoff rebars. If I eliminate the cutoff rebars, you know, it, it's reflected immediately there. And like that, everything is reflected immediately in, in, in the calculation. The calculation consists of uh, at a glance, where you can see the results in just one page, uh, or in a, the condensed tab is uh, some more uh, more detailed set of calculations uh, organized by topic. You see calculations, uh, overturning, sliding, the stem design. Uh, all that is, 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 in, is in here, you can, you can follow it. Or if you need a more detailed set of calculations with the reflected uh, exposed formulas like that and uh, code references to the, uh, for example, here, it's code reference to the ACI code. So everything is in here in the calculations. Graphically, you have uh, also the stability, stability check with uh, uh, organized uh, by uh, by uh, by load load case, uh, and you can specify also the load the load combinations or the stem design. Uh, as uh, you know, this, this is the uh, the moment diagram, and this is the shear diagram of the stem. These are the forces and the pressures applied to it. The construction tab shows the uh, the wall uh, reverse uh, as a typical drawing. Uh, also, the unit system, you can specify either Imperial, uh, US units, KIPS, FIT, KSI, or SI units, uh, metric, kilonewtons, uh, meters, centimeters, megapascals, or MKS, tons, meters, centimeters, kilograms over centimeters square. So all the, the uh, everything is customizable here. The design criteria can can be specified here. You, you specify here uh, the safety factors and the conditions that apply to the wall. Uh, the, you know, the, uh, which is important to note is that uh, you are in complete control of the design of your wall. You can change any parameter, any dimension, any load, any material, or any rebar, and see the the effect of, of that change immediately in in the results here. So you are in complete control of your design, but basically uh, as the, what ha has been designed with that in mind, th that you are in control completely of your, of your design. So enjoy uh, your uh, evaluation period. And if you have any, any, any questions, uh, any doubt, please uh, let me know. And uh, I'll be glad to help and clarify any, any questions. Thank you very much for your attention.